classic TV fans, Rick 9G here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Here's Lucy, but we're also going to be talking about I Love Lucy, and there's a lot to talk about, so I want to get right to it, but first I want to thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button, by hitting the thumbs up like button on this video. It truly makes a difference. It's absolutely free, and it makes my channel continue. So I really do appreciate it. We're going to start out with Here's Lucy. Now, if you know, Here's Lucy is the series that came right after the Lucy show. And before that, we had the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour. And before that, we had I Love Lucy. I'm kind of going in a backwards route. There was also Life with Lucy, which comes after Here's Lucy. But here is Here's Lucy. This is the one with her actual children. That is Lucy Arnaz Luckin' Bill and Desi Arnaz Jr., in the series and they were there supporting Lucille Ball and her endeavors on Here's Lucy. Now I'm going to be focusing on a specific episode from season two. It's episode 11. It's called Lucy and Johnny Carson. Now what better thing can you imagine than having Lucille Ball and Johnny Carson in the same episode on the screen together basically doing comedy together. Now I won't let you know what the episode was about and why it's so significant and important here. Now in this one, Lucy sneaks Harry, who's played by Gil Gordon, that's her brother-in-law in the story, and the kids into the taping of The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. And she wins an audience contest to get to have a free dinner at the Brown Derby restaurant. Now that is kind of surprising because we remember the episode with William Holden at the Brown Derby and there's a little bit of a recreation here. And the second half of the actual episode is pretty much a lot like that Bill Holden episode. Now continuing on when Lucy and Harry get to the restaurant, she sees Johnny and Ed McMahon eating and decide to horn in on their evening. Now the first half of the episode we see Lucy and the kids getting ready to go with Harry to the taping of this tonight show that's taking place in Los Angeles. So as that is happening we see Johnny Carson tell a few jokes and then he makes his way to the audience and he starts speaking with Lucy. Now before I get to the scene again there's so much to talk about. Later on in the episode as I mentioned that whole brown derby that whole scene with Lucille Ball and Johnny Carson, that's just a rehash of the William Holden episode where Lucy spills something on Bill Holden. Same thing here, Lucy spills a bunch of water and a bunch of drinks and stuff on Johnny Carson and he adds to that by pouring some water on his own head. It's a pretty funny scene. Now going back to where Lucy and Johnny Carson are together, Lucy is basically standing up in the area of the audience there that's watching the Tonight Show at this time, we see that there's a woman, there's a sp specific older lady who's sitting to the right of Lucy and Johnny Carson. Well, that is to our right. That is Dee Dee Ball. That's Lucille Ball's real life mother. Now, a lot of you may say, how do you know this or so forth? Well, you can see she's in the credits. Woman in the audience, Dee Dee right there and woman in the audience. I'll leave the credits up there. But no, it's it's pretty well known fact that Dee Dee was actually present in everything. Everything that Lucille Ball did, whether it was an episode of I Love Lucy, she was always there. In every taping of every episode with the audience, she was there. That is I Love Lucy, the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour. We also have the Lucy Show. And finally, here's Lucy. We see Dee Dee. But it's the first time we actually see her essentially on screen like this and play a big part with someone. I mean, Johnny Carson, he's kind of leaning on her and he's being a little chummy with her. I mean, that's Lucio Ball's mom. So that's really cool to know that fun fact, to see that little cameo there. But there's even more than that. You ever listen to I Love Lucy and you hear a woman in the audience when there's laughing and just giggling in the audience where you hear, uh-oh, some people even call her the OO oh -oh lady. Well, that's her. That's actually Lucille Ball's mother. That's Dee Dee Ball in the audience of I Love Lucy going OO. Oh -oh. Now, many people have said, Rick, isn't I Love Lucy, isn't that canned laughter? Isn't that laughter just like on a tape recorder and they played it? No. No, 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 no. I still have people today that still argue with that supposition. But no, it's 100% true. They did not use canned laughter in I Love Lucy. They actually use some of that laughter, however, for other TV shows later on. 
So other she TV shows that use canned laughter use the I Love Lucy past laughter, if that makes sense. But the I Love Lucy show in itself never used it. And whenever you hear, uh-oh, that's Dee Dee herself saying, uh-oh. And who's going to say, shh, or don't say, uh-oh, to Lucille Ball's mom? I'll show you three examples here where she actually does say, uh-oh. So now we're going to jump to I Love Lucy. This episode, you may know, it's called Lucy Visits Gromans. Of course, that's Gromans Chinese Theater. This is the one where Lucy has the hot idea of stealing John Wayne's footprints along with Ethel and Fred found out about this and he shows up and he's super upset after they bring the slab of concrete to Ethel and or essentially the Mertz's hotel room. Ricky finds out everything explodes, a whole plan becomes unraveled and Lucy and Ethel try to escape with the slab and they drop it into many pieces and then you can hear Dee Dee say, uh-oh, she actually got into the script, meaning she got into the story so much. And when Lucy would get into these precarious situations, she would say, uh-oh, let's listen to her. <laughs> and that's it. And as quickly as that, that was Dee Dee saying, uh-oh, in the audience. And she's so clear when she does it. Remember, it's unique every single time when she's doing it. She just does it similarly. Now, moving on to the episode the nursery school or nursery school little ricky is enrolled in nursery school little lucy or lucy doesn't want him to go but ricky definitely does he wants to get him with his classmates and get used to school and so forth so lucy hides him but he finally has to get his tonsils out he has to go to the hospital and lucy is so sad that her son has to spend the night in the hospital everything turns out okay in terms of the surgery but lucy sneaks in with the bear she comes out of the bedroom and you can hear in the audience Dee Dee Ball essentially go, uh-oh, as she notices that Lucy comes out with the bear and she's going to sneak out. Let's listen to her. <laughs> That's it. That's Dee Dee Ball right there. Let's hear her one more time in another episode called Ricky's Contract. This is before they're ever going to go to Hollywood where Ricky is waiting, desperately waiting, from the call from Hollywood. He's not getting it throughout the episode. He's in a sour mood throughout. And Fred finally gets the idea, hey, why don't we just write Hollywood called on a piece of paper and then Ricky will stop worrying and he'll be a cinch. He'll be called and then that worrying will be all for nothing. So Ethel gets super upset, gets that paper and she doesn't tear it up but she just moves it to the side. And when she does that, we can hear the uh-oh from Dee Dee Ball herself. Uh-oh, hi. <laughs> After, as I mentioned, and you will hear that uh-oh in there, and you will hear the similar laughs to I Love Lucy, because it is. They are the recorded laughs from the I Love Lucy show. So that's pretty cool, and it all comes full circle here, where we see finally see her Dee Dee Ball and Johnny Carson and her daughter Lucille Ball in this great episode Lucy and Johnny Carson. Let me know out of all these which of these is your favorite. Have you seen this here's Lucy episode? You should really watch it. It's pretty funny. Ed McMahon is in it as well and they act all perfectly together. There's a lot of slapstick comedy in it. Johnny Carson is amazing. He's having a good time and it is all in good fun. Thank you so much for the support as always. I hope you like this episode. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more. Here's Lucy. I Love Lucy, The Lucy Show, a lot more of that stuff. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you all next time. Be hopeful. Thank you so much to everyone who supports my work on Patreon. David D, Sally N, Gerard D, Greg S, Ricky, Citizen Kane 359, Kevin K, and Vito L. If you want to appear on this list, don't forget to look at the Patreon description in the link below. Thank you.